Growth is dictated by how we can provide other services besides water. We have to make sure that we can do such things as roads, uh, sewage, uh, bus routes, and other means of transportation and services that will make a community healthy. If we truly wish to get a handle on growth, then one of the first things we can do is raise the bar, demand the absolute highest environmental design standards, and the strictness of building guidelines for all developers and contractors, no matter whether you're building a house or a, a tower. Kelowna is one of the most desired locations in the world for home buyers and developers, so therefore I think we can afford to really seriously raise the bar on our demands uh, of anyone wanting to build here. Our environmental standards should be world-class. Um, the lead gold standard that, that was being talked about under the Climate Action Plan by the provincial government, a lot of builders talk about the fact that they're, they're meeting the lead standards. We need the very best in every building built here. And if developers and contractors do not want to play at that high level of minimum expectation, then they can go somewhere else and build. That being said, I have had the experience the last three years of getting to know personally a number of our developers and architects, and I can attest to the fact that the great majority of them are very talented and very dedicated to our community. I have been accused of being anti-development. That's really not fair or accurate. What I am is opposed to stupid development. There have been a few proposals that have come across our table in the last three years that I simply could not agree with, either because of the location their design, or what I saw as an impact on the community. But at the end of the day, in the big picture, we have a very solid and sound development community. And I think our future is very bright.